be a well played game. Starts on the mound, and Whitaker I thought got better as he went. The two home runs, he was obviously frustrated about that. I think the first fastball, he just left the ball in the middle of the plate, and Gump was a strong kid. He pushed that ball out in the right field. He didn't crush it, but you know that's the the nuances of this stadium. Sometimes to right field, those things happen against you, and sometimes you benefit from it happening for you. Spence hit a nice change of those down, good piece of hitting. Um, Whitaker battled, and I, and I felt like he got a little bit sharper the longer he was in there, and clearly we had gotten to a point where it seemed like that was enough, and we had Dorsey ready to go. Spence was coming up, they, you know, and we figured they made pinch hit, which is fine. It got Dorsey in there, and we were trying to collect outs, so I was, I was really pleased with how they pitched. The defense was the difference today. Like our, our defense was sharp. Like all phases of it, outfield defense was really good. Cam, a couple nice plays. Low D, some beautiful plays. Faro, those double play pivots are not easy. He hung in there and drove the ball to first base. The pickoff, pickoff at first, pickoff at second. Um, both catchers did a nice job. And you have to do that if you're going to beat a talented team when you're not having a lot of success offensively. And I, I can't say the at bats were horrid. There were some bad. Oh, early in the count outs, but there were some well-struck balls with nothing to show for it. So that's going to happen in this sport, but you have to be able to pitch. And the level of defense today was the difference in this game, and that's plain and simple. No if, ands, or buts. I was really proud of the way they defended. Also, the, the, the winning run scores, Cantu's busting it out of the box on a ground ball back to the yeah. pitcher. Like, he made him rush that throw to first, which gets him to third. Good point. Yeah, he hit that ball, and it, it kind of bounced out of Reed's glove. And once he found it, because Cantu was running hard, it pressed the play a little bit. And you just don't know how these games are going to evolve or what gives you an opportunity to score a key one run. And that, that did it. Um, so, again, kudos to him. He had a nice ball game. And... Some of the things he's done at first base, he makes it look easy. The play cam yesterday, I think the throw was high, and he he kind of hung in there and didn't leak out forward at all and reeled that thing in. He's done a nice job. And, uh, he had good at bats all weekend, including today. With the, the the offense and how it's been really the entire season, the pitching hasn't needed to be kind of what it was this weekend when you had back to back four spots. I guess how encouraging is it that the first time you really needed those games from the pitching staff you got. That was great. Yeah. We were pressed, and they're a talented group. Like they, they have physicality. Their, their home run total is pretty significant, and that's how they can generate some big innings. But we limited the external stuff. Like There weren't a lot of walks and hit batters today, and defense was clean, so we were able to minimize. And it's great when you're pressed and things are not going well. Like The response has to be sharp on the mound and clean defensively and athletic enough to do these things. Like you could be clean and good on the mound, but if you're not if you're not athletic enough to make the above average play and create like an out on the bang bang play versus safe, um, it's hard to minimize like what you do today. Looking at this weekend as a whole to have had those opportunities to respond, how huge was that as you guys opened up conference action? It's pretty neat when you look at the board and I this is just their toughness really. I like I think when you look at the line, what they scored in the third two and we scored in the bottom one. And I think that was Cam. And they score in the fifth and we answer with two. That's, I, it's hard to summarize like how that happens. It's not really anything other than their toughness and determination to find ways to succeed and win. That's a great trait in a team. And But it's not something that you could easily cultivate in – wave the magic wand, it's just those guys buying into every pitch of what's happening, and I think maybe the adrenaline of feeling challenged a little bit maybe adds to their sharpness and ability to respond. It's pretty good. After Jaime tied the game at three, just how big was it for Wade to go out there and put a zero on the board as quickly as he did? Huge. And he had some quick innings. I think that might have been one, like, pretty efficient and he just he was in control of the game, and I do feel like he got sharper, like the deeper he got. And at some point, there's a there's an end to the outing, and that was that was our choice. He probably could have finished that, but we thought we were at the right spot, and we had worked Dorsey into being ready for that hitter. 
and Wilt was, Wilt was good. And his response, I thought, was good. Like, he didn't mount negative things that happened. Like, some bad happened, and he kind of moved on and pitched through it a little bit. So you know you're going you're to get a fight from him, and we got it today. He, he was better as he went. I think you talked about the defense today, but it was no errors in all, in all four games this week. I guess how easy does it, or how much easier to make everything else when defense is being played at that level? Yeah, it's a world of difference, and when you can do that, it it really can shrink the pitch count for the pitcher. Like when you can get a one zero ground ball or a fly ball or a comebacker, um, you know the strikeouts are great, and clearly we racked up some strikeouts yesterday. But when you're not striking people out at a high rate, then you're going to see how well you really defend. The ball in play defense is different than a fielding percentage because you, you're recording a put out on every strikeout and that just goes right into your fielding percentage. But when the ball's in play, that's the test of your defensive team, not necessarily the raw fielding percentage. And can you turn double plays and can you make an above average play? That's the true test of the team. And we were pressed today on it, and the guys responded well. Can you feel the excitement from a fan base? Obviously, any fan base is going to be excited when they're 18-0. and 0. Their team they like is 18-0. and 0. But after last season, to start like this, and it seems like you've reinvigorated the fan base. Can you appreciate that right now? No, we're only a third of the way through the season. Well, I appreciate their support and engagement of what goes on on this field. They love, they know good baseball. They love good baseball. They love baseball. But when you're pulling for the Garnet Gold, it sure helps when the Garnet Gold is playing good, clean baseball. And that's what they've been able to watch. And this is, you're trying to move things along and you envision playing this brand of baseball. It's hard to do it as consistently as we have. But the fan support, I felt it before, and it's exactly like what it once was when I remember being on that field as a player and thinking through some of the great moments. They love it, and they appreciate the, the finer points of the game. Rarely do the fans applaud and acknowledge like a catcher that blocks a ball in the dirt. But like our fans do, the animals have watched it. They love it. They're here every pitch. This isn't show up halfway through the game and take a look and get out. Like this is. They're ready before the game starts. And that crowd in Section B, like they add so much to our program. And the other people that come in here, I've been on the other side of it. Like I've been in here before. I brought that team in here two years ago and it's a unique feeling in the presence of the animals in the crowd. Everybody feels it, we feel it. And I think it adds that, that home advantage when you're in the other dugout, it's tough. K time's tough and they're, being on everything you do adds to our success. Does it feel like you're 18 and 0? You know, no, it doesn't. It doesn't. Um, and sometimes I look at this thing and I'm just like, wow, that's that's neat. Like, but I told the guys today, the only thing you can do right now is just figure out a way to do well in today's game. It doesn't matter whether it's 18 and 0 or you're one and nine. It doesn't matter. There, it's, it's a good feeling. You can feel the energy in the locker room and when they come out here. It was, it was probably the best. I've been hitting infield outfield for 20-something years. When I walked off the field today, I said that was probably the best round of pregame infield outfield I've ever seen a team take. I said it to a coach. I didn't say it to the guys. But when I get that, like the record, and well, that, all that's going to take care of itself when they play the way they're playing. So I – I'm excited, but it's not something I reflect on often, if at all. It's how well can we play the game today. And as the stakes continue to get higher, you just hope that you can stay healthy and, and just continue to play sharp, crisp baseball. I guess 